Well, how's it going, guys? This here's the tank I should have never filled up or fixed. It had a shattered bottom all across the corner over here. What I did, I wouldn't put a piece of Lexan over it or a piece of acrylic, whatever the hell it was. Silicone it down, got everything sealed up good. Build it up. It leaks. Fuck it. It leaks. But right now we got in here some rainbow fry. Some of them are starting to show a little color. I don't think we'll ever see it in the camera. But they're doing pretty good in here. Some of them are starting to, you can start to see they're getting eggs. You know. This old tank is scratched up. The only reason I didn't buy another tank is I just bought one. And didn't really have the money after buying two tanks. I bought the new one in the bedroom and now this one over here. That one over there. So I had this one here from my childhood. This is my first reasonable sized tank, I should say. It's 50. I bred many a fish in this old thing. It's set out in the weather for probably 15 years, so we had to strip all the silicone down. That's why it looks crappy and unprofessional. I did it. But, anyways, it's holding water. Fish are in it. Got a little small sponge filter in it, and then I got a pond pump here with my own made up filter got some ceramic sponges in it puts out a good bit of water flows good it's keeping this clean really clean don't mind the scratches like I said this tanks probably well I, I got it when I was about 18 I think and I maybe even younger than that and I'm be 49 this year so it's an old tank down below here we got down in this tank here is a 10 gallon. We got a corridor up there. A little sponge filter, nothing fancy. I got a guppy here. I'm hoping to get some fry out of her. I lost the males. But I still got the female. She has guppies. Who knows what they're going to be. Just much probably. Maybe I can pick, it up, pick out a few and make a line out of it. Down in here, I got a bunch of corridor eggs back here. If you can see them on the camera. Like they're doing pretty good or something in that corner. I took a couple out. What I did was when this pair was breeding, I moved them over to this tank, and I think they you know there's still a few eggs back over in that corner too, so they might hatch out still. We're just playing around with it. I got plenty of other eggs in the bedroom corridors. They're all my pepper corridors. Uh, there are a couple little platies in this one bought some platies for this tank over here. We can come look at this one. These are my platies. I bought them two days ago and the next day they had babies. So we ended up with, I don't know, they're probably 10 or 15 fry around. They're all hiding out in this little bush on the driftwood. I seen them, a few of them earlier, but they blend in so good to this substrate. They do pretty good. I got some peppered corridors in there. Or some that, I don't know, you can see them over there. They're up there underneath them bushes and stuff. And we got some more rainbow fry. That I'll probably be catching out of here soon. Because I got something coming in the mail. I got a couple different things that something's coming in the mail. Everything goes through to good. We'll get a video out to you guys. You're going to see the unboxing. I don't really do them, but we'll give it a shot. And then down here we got our two big. Rainbow fish females, Australians. There's one by it. No, there's a dinner. We're going to get a little catfish. No, I don't know what the heck it is. Of course, the camera's not going to focus. And a bunch of fry. Of course, I think these are already breeding. Pretty nice size already. These were the racers. And some of the other ones. I ain't too worried about them. I got enough rainbow fish. I don't have to worry about losing any. We just got a little cheap 10-gallon filter on there. And one of my little homemade filters on here. But that's what's going on in here, guys. Let's go ahead and I'll take you in the bedroom and show you what I got going on in there.
Well, how you go on here is the back, the back room. We still got our tequila sunrise guppies are still doing good. Lost a bunch of the other males. Still got some females that should breed in good with them. Uh, what else is in here? We got our long fin. Bristlenose pleco is in here. Uh, we got our baby catfish over here in the marina box. I love this thing. Where's any not focus? Bunch of little catfish in there. Probably 15 or 20. Down here in the bottom are a bunch of eggs. Open them to hatch next few days. Of course the guppies. He does a little showing off. Very pretty. Uh, and let's go in here and look at the algae tank. Well, it's not algae tank no more. That's the Ouija reef ends. It's looking wonderful now. I'm very happy how this tank's cleaned up and no algae left. Or they might be a little bit, but nothing major. Uh, I've got two, uh, three females and two males peppered corridors. I'm really liking these males as they get older. The top fins are even getting longer than they were. Females are looking really good too. Really enjoy this tank. I'm just here to keep my eggs safe and piss me off. Let me fight my fight the snails off. You know, I see why people hate snails. <laughs> no, they got a hundred thousand of them. <laughs> That's okay. The ant, the corridor is like them when I squish them, so they eat and clean them up. No problem. Might as well use them for something. I ain't got a puffer yet. I say yeah. No, I really don't think I got room for a puffer. Looking amazing. Another one back here, except in the back. Focus on her. That's one of the males swimming in. I don't know, probably about a week, they'll be laying more eggs. Been feeding them blood worms and tetracolor granules. But, anyways, everything's looking great. I just love this plant. Well, I hope you guys have a good Sunday night, and we'll catch you guys later.